first when I when he emailed me the information, I became very frantic in my mind. I just I don't know why, but I just never um, I, I could not fathom how Batavia had slaves. I, I don't know why. I mean, it just it just never entered my mind. I never thought about that. And then when I was forced with the idea, I did not feel good about it at all. And then I told Mike, I need to see the marker. And I think that was in the winter and we came out here and, you know, it just would not leave me. She just rested on my mind. And I'm sure it has something to do with well, my granddaughter never, being four at the now. time. And it was a bit rough. It was a bit rough. And just knowing that her marker was unattended and no prayers were being said. It just, it didn't sit well with me. And, you know, and I asked Wula, you know, what can we do? Well, and the other thing that happened is that Sheila received that, and she's humble about this, but she received a gift from her church yes. in December. They gave her a gift of money, and she thought that she wanted to repair this, and so now she's working on this project of replacing the headstone yes. to reclaim the story. Right. So that's part of what she, you know, kind of the discussion about Ed and saying, you know, that's really saying that she was a faithful servant as if she chose to be a servant. And so we, we want a different wording and, and a different way of looking at this. So she's working with Derek, Derek Monument. Monument. Right. Now we aren't going to erase the current wording. What we're going to do actually is restore that front piece with an overlay and we're going to etch the exact wording because we want to say that that's part of the history and on the unweathered side Rula has come up with a beautiful uh, two verses that we're going to have scripted on the unweathered side so I, I think that it's important that we maintain the original because that was the thought and we're going to Reclaim that narrative. I'm free at last. I'm free at last. Thank God Almighty. I'm free at last. And in the words of Harriet Tubman, I'd rather be dead and in my grave than be a slave. I'm free at last. Thank you all.